Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of Isaac. Today we are jumping in for a very dagger knife themed run. We are going to be jumping in with Dionysus here, which is the tainted version of Damocles. Damocles may appear above the head of an enemy in an uncleared room. When an enemy has Damocles above its head and it takes damage, it will instantly kill them. Um, if it's a boss, they'll take 80 damage instead. And then with that, we've got Adam's Rib. Attacking him for the first time calls a knife down from the sky and it destroys obstacles and deals splash damage. And then I thought just to add some risk to the run, uh, make it even more spicier, we'll just throw on some Damocles for our very own. Uh, so yeah, you'll see that when we hit an enemy for the first time, two times our tier damage, a knife falls. And then on occasion, we'll also have enemies that have their own version of Damocles above their head. I thought this could be just like a pretty interesting run. I've wanted to do Adam's Rib in a run for a while and the Dionysus, uh, I, I think it's Dionysus it's called, um, I just thought it'd be cool to have that one in there as well. And then yeah, Damocles is just, it's just a fun item to add to a run because it, obviously it's very strong but it adds some severe risk. The longer we can go without taking any damage the better of course, uh, so we'll hope that we can manage to not take damage for a little while here but unfortunately we are at the whim of the game and some rooms are going to be harder than others to avoid that. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Luckily, there is chain reaction possibilities here. So if enemies are close to one another, we can get Adam's rib to fall a knife on top of another one. And then it triggers a knife on top of a knife on top of a knife. And it just kind of keeps going. Haven't seen any Damocles above enemies' heads as of yet, unfortunately. But we'll see them eventually. As for the question of the day today, um, there you go. Look, we get the double knife drop there. Um, boom. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, the double knife drop is really, really nice. Yeah, as for the question of the day today, what's a, what's a roguelike that you've been playing recently that you've been really enjoying? Because I'm, I'm looking for some other roguelikes to sort of mix into the channel. As you guys know, I mainly just play Nuclear Throne and Isaac on the channel. That's They're, they're kind of my two go-to games. Um, and have been for a long while and will continue to be so but I do want to mix other games in for a, for a little bit Obviously, we played some risk of rain 2. That was pretty fun I might bring that back uh, at some point The only problem I have with that is the runs can be very 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 long Like they can be over an hour and that's a little bit too much typically So I don't want to constantly do um, risk of rain videos, but I'll do them on occasion Um Guys be careful because this guy's dashing like a, a motherfucker um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. That was a bad position to be in. Um, but yeah, another game that I think I'm going to bring back to the channel pretty shortly, uh, sometime this week maybe, is uh, Dead Estate. Because Dead Estate just received its final update. So it's got a bunch of new content and stuff here. Um, Roid Ridge. I don't know if this counts as me taking damage, but I'm going to do it anyways. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I don't know if that counts as me taking damage or not for Damocles, because it's not to an enemy. So I don't think it will, but it might. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, it could be bad. It, it could be fine. We'll find out. Yeah, so if we hit an enemy like that, we'll just insta-kill them. I think that's really cool. And it's, it seems like a fairly low chance. It's like one enemy every now and again, rather than like all enemies, which is good. I mean, we don't want it to be crazy, crazy powerful. So far, I'm I'm liking this build. It's fun. It's it's obviously a bit strong, but it's just interesting. Oh damn! See how many knives fell on that guy. Then what the hell? I'm hoping we get a Damocles on a boss at some point, uh, lingering over the top of him, because that could be fun to see. But yeah, of course, we do want to try and be a little speedy here um, to try and avoid the Damocles if it has triggered. I'm just going to assume at the minute that uh, mirrored item triggered it, and now it can fall at any point. So. I'm just going to go under that assumption and try my best to not take any more damage and try my best to be fast is the, the main aim of the game here. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. So th there you go. We've officially taken some real damage now. So at this point, we now are uh, under, the, under the whim of Damocles. It'll probably end up being the thing that kills us, but I don't know. We've got the potential for a, for a quick run here, so beautiful what we get here fills an empty pedestal unfortunately i don't have empty pedestals that item does nothing for me it'd be a really good item if it did but unfortunately i do not um i do not have empty pedestals because of a mod that i'm using which is i probably shouldn't be using considering it does mess some things up like that it just makes the game cleaner to play because it removes some hanky panky from certain areas um in like getting stuck on things and stuff 
I don't want to deal with that. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I didn't hit every segment. Oh, wait, no. Each each segment individually can get hit. That's nice. Okay. Boom, bow. Bow. We've got plenty of HP to work with here, so let's take a look what we've got going on here. I'm pretty sure that little that little buddy there is pretty good. Um, rapidly shoots tears. Um, fire rate increases the more it's hurt. I don't know. Now, nah, I'm going to play this guy instead and see what we get out of him. We get two items out of him. Uh, applies random status effects to enemies in the room. Pretty good. Um, and unfortunately, that one is pretty good, but I'm going to go with this book because it seems more fun. Right. Let's keep this rolling. I'm also going to go down this way because reflected items seem pretty good for us so far. And if we go down here, we can bomb the mirror and increase our chance for reflected items, which I think is going to be a good idea for us. But yeah, I don't want to be like I don't want to be super one turn. I want to make sure that I'm getting some other games mixed in on occasion. Maybe just like twice a week. Um, I don't want it to be like all the time. Basically, at the minute, I'm in I'm in an interesting spot with uh, with YouTube where like I'm wanting to reduce my load, like reduce how much time of mine it takes up because I do only do this on the side. And my job is getting to the point now where I do more more often, so I haven't got as much time as I used to have to do it. And so that's why I cut. That's why I stopped doing Isaac on the daily. I start I started doing it every other day, and why I now take one weekend day uh, off. It it just helps with really there was a tear there. Uh, it just helps with um, making sure I can keep my balance, sort of, on things. Wow, this is a, a lot of a lot of shit. That's, a, that's a, lot, a lot of stuff I don't want. That's unfortunate. So yeah, we'll we'll bomb this just to increase our reflected item chances. Um. Yeah, and so I don't want to, like, introduce too many new games to the channel because I don't want to overload myself with too much stuff to do. But at the same time, I want to make sure that we're always looking at new things and keeping some variety. I don't want Nuclear Throne and, um... Oh, God. Oh, God, I've got Herming. I don't want Nuclear Throne and Isaac to be the only things I do forever sort of thing. I want to introduce new games. I want to bring in Peglin. I want to uh, play the new Brotato update. I don't know how many of you would be interested in some Brotato content, but... Um, I want to, I want to add that into the mix, so maybe I'll do, like, one Brotator and one Dead Estate video a week or something like that. We'll sort of just see how it goes. Um, and also I'll, I'll, like, sort of feedback your guys' comments on this video and see, um, see what you guys think of that. Uh, there, there might be a chance that I've already uploaded, um, one of such games, like, because this episode has been pre-recorded, I might have already done it by the time you guys hear this. But yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to know what you guys think of that, and, and maybe give some suggestions to some other roguelikes that you're playing at the minute that you think it'd be cool to see uh, come up. Nice. So unfortunately, we haven't had a Damocles on our boss yet. It would be nice, but not yet. Okay, cool. He's taken care of. And we get ourselves a very, very, very high amount of fire rate out of those two. Thank you. Right, we go back down to the regular floors now. We just wanted the, this floor for the mirror. And we got a planetarium. We're getting lucky with planetariums recently. We've three episodes in a row I've had a planetarium now. I quite like that. I'm also quite liking this book as well. This book's pretty good. Just applying random status effects to every enemy in the room. Of course, sometimes you can get some stuff like Concuss, which isn't going to be that helpful. But other times you can get like bleeding and stuff um, and, and setting enemies on fire, all that sort of thing that could be really beneficial. But I don't knock it. There's a half soul heart there that I missed. Oh, look at that. <laughs> like so many enemies. All various effects on them. Fill out you. Gotcha. We got one Damocles there as well. I'm looking for like a Jacob's Ladder. That would that would be nuts on a run like this. Because if we, if we got something like Jacob's Ladder, that would cause like massive chain reactions of Adam's rib falling on everything. I think that'd be really cool, and then that would also trigger any item that's uh, hit by the, the Damocles. I, I don't know, I think that'd just be a really, really cool way to see everything sort of chain react off of the back of each other. Right, we'll check this out. Um, Nothing there that's really that interesting to me, unfortunately. Yeah, 
I was hoping we'd be able to buy a key in there, but unfortunately that is not the case right now. Ow. That was a bit rude. I did not think that explosion would hit me, but... More fool me, I guess. Hey, there's another key. Okay, um... I'll, I'll play this out. Get some damage bonus off of it. See what it pays out with. Good amount of stuff, apparently. A good amount of stuff. There you go. That was pretty good. I like that. There you go. See, sometimes you can just like, insta-kill an enemy with that. And um, we'll hold on to our key for now because we've not seen our item room. Although, to be fair, I guess I could skip out my item room because it's miles away now, but I don't really want to do that. Let's go fight our boss first. Still no uh, Dionysus Damocles dagger above the uh, boss's head, but we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Oh, wow. I think some rough damage there. You chill out, you. Boom, bow. Oh, I've lost my head. Okay. Luckily, we've got some good speed now, so backtracking isn't so bad. We've got that half soul heart there that we want anyways, so... It's a good idea to head back this way. It's a good idea. Right. Grab that. Thank you. And it... Ah, oh, I forgot about my planetarium as well. Okay, that would have been a... That would have been a big stupid if I'd have missed out on that. Oh my god, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um... And I think I'm going to go for Terror as well. Beautiful. Now we need to try and get another key from somewhere. Which is iffy. That's not a key. Unfortunately, unless this room gives us a key, we ain't getting one. Ah, damn. Okay. Is there any which way I can get a key here? Oh, hello. I can get... A chunk of change from here, at least. I uh, See, I don't want to dither around too much. Secret rooms, maybe? Trying to think of where the secret rooms might be. So far, not so good. Where art thou, secret rooms? Where art thou? There's one. That's not what I need either. How dare you? Okay, second secret room is my last chance at a key here. I really shouldn't be taking this long on the floor, to be honest. This is way too long, but... That right there is a key. Okay, um... I don't think there's any way to get that, though, is there? Darn. Okay, well, unfortunately, item room, you are being left behind. I have made it a mistake, but the planetarium was worthwhile, so I don't mind too much. Right, down we go. Down we go. <clears throat> Still not being hit by Damocles yet. I could get some invincibility frame stuff that would help us out as well. That would be rather nice. Ooh, poison. Oh, dude, toxic shock would be another one that would hit real hard right now because it would trigger everything, I think. And that would be pretty spicy. Because you can see that poisoned enemies get hit by the dagger. I think Toxic Shock would be something pretty special. I could play that guy, but actually, to be fair, it's probably a good idea to play him. Just because we've got a lot of money and we will get two items if we beat it. Which, I'm not saying there's a super high chance of us beating it, but there's a reasonably high chance, I think, with all the items we've got going on right now. My biggest worry is just obviously the extra time that we're taking, more than anything. I do wish that uh, the, the Damocles sprite would change slightly when it when like you'd been hit once. Like, once you'd been hit to know that Damocles is now active and could fall at any moment, I think that the, the dagger should, like, the, the, the actual knife hanging above you should get, like, a bit of blood on it or something, just to indicate it's now active. I think that would help. Beautiful. Wow, we are blasting through this, aren't we? Wow, so many batteries for some reason. That was nice to goldify that enemy. 
Okay, we got it. So we should get two items here instead. I almost walked into that burn there. That would have been terrible. Hey, we did. Oh, wait, we got... We got three? No, we just got the two. Okay. Still pretty good stuff. I like it. Thank you. Two little angel items for us. That's what I like to see. One moment. One second. All right, I just had someone messaging me. Let's continue on. Damocles runs. They're always so scary. But so fun, like... Oh my god. Frozen. Taken down. I'm liking that there seems to be some modded status effects that are being applied as well. There seems to be any status effect. Good. And yeah, this this book, like I said, was a great grab. Y'all insta-killed. It even insta-killed the uh, smaller versions. It didn't split. We just it died and killed all versions. Just very nice and unexpected. Um, I'll take that. I'll take both of these, I guess. Extra short, extra strong. I was gonna say extra strong then. Extra strong. Um, wisps for us. They're very beefy. Do a lot extra damage and have extra HP. Check out the boss while we're here. bow, and I'll leave that there for now. Ooh, got some good stuff here. Um, familiar moves in the direction the player is shooting. On contact with enemies, deals 100 damage and becomes inactive. While inactive, bounce diagonally around the room. Needs to be touched again to activate. Interesting. Kills a random enemy or player. Oh, kind of interesting. And I'll take Wrath as well. Why not? I can leave that there. Interesting. The the little elf card. This is from, um, what's it called, isn't it? Um, I played it on my channel. What the hell is the game called? Inscription. Good old Inscry. Never named uh, someone that I've played uh, some Into the Gungeon and other games on my channel with. is actually one of the big modders of uh, Inscription. So if you ever want to play some Inscription mods, he's got some really cool mods out there. And he's also contributed into some bigger projects as well. Where's that item room at? I don't want to be on this floor much longer. I'm trying to be speedy here. My long elk is doing some good stuff. Oh, hello. That was rather nice. Wasn't expecting that. Not the best of stuff, but I'll take them. Get out of here. Get out of my way. Your listen's lovely to have. Especially with um, the ability to shoot through secret room walls easily. Okay, cool. Soul heart there. Oh, two soul hearts we can't have. Ooh, bit of Libra. Why not? We actually got fire rate and um, damage increase off of the back of that, so certainly not a bad thing. Right. Make our way out of here. And we got spurred, so now we've got flight. Because we've got two planetarium items and a constellation item. Or star sign item, whatever you want to call those items. Right, let's go. Yeah, this is a speedy little run. I like it. I mean, Damocles always promotes you being a bit speedy. Ooh, Curse of the Blind is going to be interesting here. Dude, this, this little um, this little edgeless battery thing is uh, very, very nice. The homing zippity zaps it gives can do some real damage. Aha. Get Damocles. Apparently that enemy, that enemy, that room didn't finish. I jumped the gun. It seems that the um, edgeless battery triggers when I trigger my active item as well, so with an active like this, it's pretty good. Yeah, look, it does. Cool. I could build a run around that. That'd be kind of interesting. Like, maybe how to jump if it works with that. Could be, like, an interesting thing to have alongside it. I like the idea. Like, have the blindfold on so I can't shoot. And try and do all my damage with that, with how to jump. If it, like I said, if it works with how to jump, that is.
<clears throat> Scissors. Terrible. Slippery Tooth, pretty good. How dare you, Scissors. How dare you come at me. Right at this moment. Where we go? We're straight onto our boss here. We've got our um, shop here as well, though. Let's quickly check it out. Terror was a great pickup. Terror is uh, is doing some stuff for us right now. Oh, it has to be actives, doesn't it? Why are they always actives? I get three more coins somehow. I got two more coins. <clears throat> Not quite enough. Oh my god. But Libra's giving us a big stat boost when we do that, though. Oh my god, the damage. I guess I'll check in here because there'll be a lot of items. Oh, they're all mystery items. Bloody hell. What a terrible floor to get that on. All goddamn mystery items. Yeah, you're annoying. I'm just going to go past you. Oh, apparently I actually finished that room in time there. Whoa, look at all the knives fall. I'm loving the dagger falls. They're so good. Adam's rib is just such a, such a cool item. It's uh, it's very reminiscent of... Um, Sarah, is it... I can't remember the name of the item now. There's a, there's a dagger item from um, Risk of Rain. Where you kill enemies and more daggers come back. Like, when you kill an enemy, it, like, releases daggers that chip, like, home in after other enemies. It kind of reminds me of that. Even though it's not really the same. Which kind of gives me that vibe. Right. Having flight here is rather nice. Get out of the way, bomb. Gotta remember I can shoot through certain doors. Like, room like that. Ain't no reason to, to beat that room. Rooms like this we can just do, because they're not going to take that long. But, like, dead-end rooms, especially ones with, like... Annoying enemies. We don't have to put ourselves through that. See, so yeah, our wisps are still holding up as well. Wisps are still doing a good job. Yeah, rooms like this, no thank you. Dead ends are no more. Obviously, we don't get the charge for doing that, though, but still. Little heart there is rather nice. We'll go back and grab that second. Excuse me? Do you survived all that? There you go. And let's hope that this way is the right way to the boss. Come on, knives. Do your business. Unfortunately, the um, Damocles on enemies has not been quite as prevalent as I was hoping. I thought I'd see a lot more of that. You only see it once every couple of rooms, but that, that was beautiful. There we go. Looks like we're heading the right way here. Nope, we are not. I've been pranked once again by the womb. Always with the womb pranking me. I don't know why I'm getting random tears sometimes. You see that there. But the first year I fired as I entered the room was like... A di it must be one of my wisps, actually, maybe. Oh, hello. The fallen. I always forget you can show up on the womb. Ah, uh, buddy, we're not getting great stuff here. I mean, our run's pretty amazing. I can't complain too heavily, but... Hey, her. one second. Right, let's keep this train and moving. Sadly, no card for skipping this floor. Bit, bit risky sitting over the top of the rocks shooting there, but meh. It'll be fine. Where's the knives at? Have the knives fall upon your heads. Literally on your heads be it, please. Hey, there you go. We got one on that guy. It's nice when it's a champion enemy as well. Insta-killing a, a high health champion enemy just feels better. Hedonist cookbook is goddamn amazing. But I'm honestly really, really liking this black book right now. Doing some cool stuff. Ooh, damn. I forget that'd be an all-star, so. Okay. Unfortunately, as always, as I said with the womb, it pranks me. I go the wrong way.
I go the wrong way. All the time. But yeah, I think after this, I'm going to buckle in for some Nuclear Throne. Uh, there's been a big new update. I've been playing the beta of it for a while. Any of you that have been watching my series on that will know. But um, there's been a big new update that's like now officially released. I've been playing it on the beta before. Um, so I think there's been some new content that I haven't even tested out. So I'm really looking forward to jumping back on that game after a few weeks of not playing it and, and really having it out with it. Nuclear Throne's just... It's such a chill game. Like, it's a stressful game, but it's a game that you could... Like, runs are so fast that you don't have to really put, like, super heavy commitment into it. Which is one thing I really, really like. I mean, G Gungeon and... Not Gungeon, sorry. Isaac is some sense, like, sort of like that in a way, but not quite to the same extent because runs can go long. But, like, honestly, like a run like this, it looks like we're going to hit about 35 minutes for this entire run, which is a pretty speedy run, really. I mean, that is if we survive the whole way. Remember, Damocles is still looming. We may not live to see the day. I mean, I hope we will, but we might not. Wrath's doing some good stuff for us here. Don't think we're going to skip last phase here, unfortunately. Not looking like one of those fights. Oh, come on. Oh, we might actually. Ooh. Yay, we did. Okay. Was not expecting to be able to skip last phase there, but... I like it when it happens. Ooh, I will check out the Devil Deal real quick. Okay, this is pretty good because I think he'll spawn extra items for us. Just give me a lump of coal, please. You know you, you know you want to. Dead. Ah, no lump of coal, but we did get Black Moon, which is a pretty good item. Up, up, up we go. We just keep spamming our book and spamming our shots. I like the way it makes our shots look as well with the uh, Black Moon item. Okay. This floor, I'm going to be speeding past as well. This floor's not for me. Oh, what the hell? What, what did I get in there? Oh, it's just a... Nuh -uh. I'm sorry, but nuh -uh, it's not the trinket for me. Thank you. If a room looks annoying, I shall skip it. That is, that is my creed. Hey. Die, you... Wait, did that room seriously not complete? Oh, for God's sake. Well, then I'm skipping it. I did, like, the whole room. What, what was left? It must be, like, a fly or something. This is why I like this, because went big wrong way, and I can correct for it. See? I can basically check my routes and not have to majorly go the wrong way, which is ideal for me. Holy. These ghosties are going to be sat sort of annoying. Got a secret room here as well, which is kind of nice. Go check out what's going on in there. Excuse me, ghosty. Get out the way of the door. Really? Three coins? On this floor, you're going to give me three coins? Ooh, hello. That's definitely been updated. That, they, didn't, they didn't used to drop like that. I don't know when that happened, but... Seems new. Get you bleeded. Ooh. Midas is probably one of the better ones. Stops the enemy from attacking altogether. That and uh, Petrify are both going to be pretty goddamn good. We got a second secret room here. Hello, little fella. Wow, that room's mean. <laughs> that room is mean. You waste a bomb to get into your secret room looking for something desperately to help you out. Oh, to be fair, okay, it paid out with a big battery. That makes it feel okay. So it's just kind of a little prank, bro. Just kind of a little prank. You think it's mean, you complete the room and you get your charge back and then some extra, so... Not so bad. Right, boss time. Use it twice, there you go. Got him petrified. Keep him passive for a long while. I should do about a quarter of his health before I even did anything. I need to get my long elk doing something. Let me... Navigate him back in. There you go. And then he just starts bouncing around the room randomly after that. Once Long Elk has hit, he keeps going. Right. Chase that in there. Ah! Get that hot bomb on there as well. 
beautiful. You know, it's a pretty smooth sailing sort of run, this. I mean, obviously, a fairly strong run off the off the bat anyways, so to be expected, sort of. Um, but, still, managed to get some cool stuff along the way. And Damocles hasn't fallen yet. Not to jinx it, but Damocles hasn't fallen yet. Well, I guess we're getting some almond milk in there. Was not my plan, but it's happened now. Oh, look at all the daggers go. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know how how good almond milk is for this setup. In fact, it's not really increased our fire rate all that much. Oh, because we have Libra. Okay, it's actually very good. I was like, wait a minute. It's not really increased my fire rate. Oh, wait, it's not lowered my damage. Oh, wait, I have the item that makes it really, really good. That's why. It makes us strong. Bless you. Bless you, Libra. Oh my gosh, the amount of knives that fell on you then. Destroyed, my ladder. Destroyed. And then, yeah, that speed up goes from a massive speed up to 0 0.02 and some extra damage and stuff. We good? We good. Unfortunately, no way to shoot rocks at the doors to get through early on these rooms. I've just got to play legit. Taking a lot of unexpected and stupid damage here, but I've got that item, the Kirun or whatever it's called, which basically when I get hit has a chance to heal me. It's very, very strong. So, as you can tell, I'm not really losing any HP, or very little at least. Because I'm gaining a lot of it back. Even a soul heart there for me, thank you. Unlikely that this is the right way, but I'll try it out. Oh, it might be. I just spoke too soon. Freeze you, get behind you, and froze you as well. Wow, we've got the double freeze. Ooh, hello. Nice. Seems like we are going the right way. Okay, this guy's immune for right now. We can kill the boss first, though. He did. Ooh, the black moon might just take him out. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, hello, you. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That hot bomb was insane. <laughs> it, like, killed the whole boss. I, I I just meant to place it there for the actual bomb damage, not the contact damage from the bomb. I don't know. Does, does Mr. Mega increase the contact damage of hot bombs? That's something I've never considered before, but it certainly seemed to then. I mean, I know it was a segment boss and segments are pretty weak, but still, that seemed kind of crazy. Ow. That'd be a long is a good enough payout from that, though. Okay, good room to have our uh, active in here. You mostly done here. <laughs> I love all the rocks being destroyed as we make our way through the rooms. That's it, right? That's still not it. Okay, there's still more to come. How? How are things still alive after all of that? Okay, the knives help a lot on little enemies like that. I love them and even fall. Right, we finally get a boss with a Damocles on its head here. Will we? Maybe. I said it's going to be about a 35 minute run. Pretty much bang on. Pretty much, although this has delayed us massively. 10 seconds wasted. Hey, we did get one! Finally! I mean... Unfortunately, boss armor meant that it did basically no damage to him, which is a bit of a shame. But still, that was cool to see. Finally got a boss that had one above the head. Yeah, the boss armor makes this guy basically 
take like one damage per shot, no matter how high your damage is to start with. It's got very, very high uh, damage negation there. Just throw out bombs. They're doing something. The blast radius is big. Last phase, pretty much. There you go. Yeah, I don't even know where that bomb went. I basically can't take damage right now. It's mad. Bombs go through boss, dam uh, boss damage cap as well. Boss armor, should I say. Right, there you go, baby. We have done this one. Another victory. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.